man sentenced for a brutal attack on a subway platform. Yeah, surveillance video shows the moment that he shoved a woman onto the tracks unprovoked just moments before a train rolled over her. Remarkably, that woman survived, and now we know how much time he will spend behind bars. Eyewitness News reporter Sonia Rincon, live in Lower Manhattan with this story. Sonia. Mike Adidia Vemilapati got the expected sentence of eight years in state prison plus five supervised release for attempted murder. The victim was a 40-year-old woman he did not know in the Union Square subway station in November 2020. Now, at the time, there had been a series of random unprovoked attacks on the subway, and it was a time of low ridership during the pandemic, and it made the prospect of returning to the subway even scarier for a lot of New Yorkers during a time of uncertainty, and the attack was caught on video. If you look at the top of the screen, you can see Vema Lapati running and pushing the woman onto the tracks in front of a train. Thankfully, because of where she landed, she survived and had no major physical injuries. But Vema Lapati admitted when he was arrested that it was deliberate, that he waited to push her when the train was coming. Now, at the time of his arrest, he was homeless and described as emotionally disturbed. Now 26 years old, he pleaded guilty this year. And today in court, he was calm, but he had a prepared statement with a lot to say about the criminal criminal justice system unrelated to his case and the judge did cut him short and asked him to focus on his sentence and the crime he pleaded guilty to. The Manhattan District Attorney called this crime and the video chilling, saying it captured every subway rider's worst nightmare. But he also said it's important to remember that something like this is rare. It is um, something that is uh, sad, tragic, criminal, uh, and for which uh, we, we, we sought and now have accountability. Um, but thankfully, that is not the you know experience uh, that New Yorkers are having. And so we're working every day to make sure that things like this do not happen. On a, when they happen, people are held accountable. Eyewitness News spoke with the recovering victim only a few days after the attack, and she was still very shaken. She was not here today, but Vemma Lapati did apologize to her anyway in court. We'll have much more on that apology 